Hey, welcome back everybody. So good to see you all here. Listen, today I'm here in a car factory. Um, I'm here with the Barrett channel. You should go check out their channel. The link will be here. Listen, we are here at this car factory and they're gonna show us how they put these cars. The company's name is Chang'an, the Chang'an Car Factory. They're gonna show us how they put these cars together with robotics, new technology. It's a, it's a new way of building cars, I guess. And I'm on the floor here right now. So what they do here is they basically test the cars. Um, they do research on the cars and see how they can make it better. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna walk through these cars. I'm gonna sit in one to show you how it looked like. As we got into this building, there was like a woman with a PPT explaining to us how this whole process works here on a futuristic style, big LED screen on the wall. Man, this is proper. Um, apparently they say this Chang'an company is one of the top four biggest manufacturers in China. They've got autonomous cars, they've got electric vehicles, they've got motor vehicles. And I'm gonna show you real quick how the cars look like inside. Come check it out. Now I'm no car expert, let me tell you that much. But what I can tell you is this is pretty, pretty, pretty cool. What's up guys? <laughs> what I can tell you is these cars are seriously damn cool, man. They are sleek, they are sexy my gosh this is pretty cool so let's hop into one of these cars let me show you how it looks like all right so i'm in one of these cars and apparently this car is the hot seller among young people so i want to check it out you can see the red um, color on the seats it's pretty cool it's spacious whoa the key is in the car that's goddamn dangerous but apparently they are left in the car because because people can drive them around if you want to check out the car want to take it for a ride and yeah maybe we can ask them to take us for a ride i must say this is a super cool car man it's got the biggest sunroof i've ever seen and as you can see there in the back it's quite spacious freaking cool color isn't it uh, this is an electric vehicle a lot of buttons here on the steering wheel you can adjust the volume you can pick up your phone it's got speed control man this is sexy and it got this nice display here if you want to listen to your music while driving my gosh guys this is this is really really hot i have absolutely no idea what this is if you know leave me a comment in the comment section tell me what this is it looks just pretty cool man i will buy this car just for that whatever the hell that is so as i said i was in this car right now it's the seller for the young people but there's all sorts of cars they even have a pickup i'll go show you the pickup truck but it's pretty damn cool. Let's see if we can find like a family car, get in there and see how it looks like. You know, that is, that is a cool thing about this whole pro, this, this whole manufacturers. They cater for everyone, young people, old people. Like I say, there's a pickup over there. So most probably they will use these cars for, I don't know, for businesses, companies, um, which I think is pretty nice. You know, they need to hit the whole market. They can't just stand on, on a certain amount of customer which they want to attract these people really really go the mile by the looks of things to get everyone into this Chang'an brand and the cool thing about it all is we are currently here where the cars are displayed and being done researched on so i'm sure i can maybe get you guys into a factory to go check out how robots put these cars together I can't make any promises, but if you go ahead and click that subscribe button and leave your comment, I might as well take you into a factory. So as I promised, have a look at this. A pickup truck, electric vehicle pickup truck, and it's even a blue color. The colors are kind of funky and cool. I think, I think it's pretty damn cool. You've got the Barretts at the back trying to shoot their video, so I'm waiting for them and then I'll take you guys into that blue vehicle. All right, now, as I promised, I'm going to show you this cool pickup truck. Hey, I'm used to pickup trucks, but like I said, I've never seen pickup trucks actually on Chinese yeah, roads. I, I've Barrett never, is... ever seen one. We went to a motor show recently and they got some of these pickup trucks. And, and like this one, they're serious, cool, but I've never, ever seen one on the road. You know, you go to the States, they're all over the place, but here, never seen one. Same. And hey, so by the way, these guys are doing a video right here. I suggest you go click the link right here to go check out the video on their channel. Listen, I want to take Lee Barrett into this car. You can quickly just tell us, because, you know, yeah, we can this is, this is just it. a man that knows what the hell is happening. <laughs> so I let's say that, but let's have a look. So let's take Lee Barrett in there and we go check out the pickup truck. Cool, yeah. Yeah, let's quickly go in here, mate. 
Right. So, you know, 10 or 15 years ago, Chinese cars always got a bad rap. Oh, the right. quality is not good and all yeah. that. But you look at what they're doing now, man. Absolutely like, fantastic. It, it, I like, mean, mate, I'm sitting in this chair. It's comfortable as hell. How do you feel in a pickup truck, a Chinese brand? I mean, it's absolutely cool. I mean, it, it, it uses quality, doesn't it? You know, absolutely. There's, there's no issue with quality. And man, we were just in that car next to this. And I don't know whether this has got it, but that one, you start the damn thing up with your face scan. <laughs> Holy crap. So it's got face recognition face to start up, to to start start up the a car. car. And then let's say you have a different seat setting to me, right? Right. When it scans your face, it adjusts all your seat settings to according to set, your preference. According to your preference, so when um, like your brother drives it or, or, or you know another family member or something, it moves to their it preference. It moves to their preference. Holy know. cow! You see, ladies it's and so gentlemen, cool. that is what I've been telling you for so long. Chinese technology is busy exploding, and it's going into cars, it's going into phones, it's going into networks, it's going all over. Listen, I'm sitting in a pickup. I'm used to pickups because we use a lot of pickups in in South Africa. This thing is pretty damn spacious and cool and it looks just more hot with Lee Barrett in the driver's <laughs> no, seat. I don't know about that. So guys, if you go ahead and click that like button, subscribe button, be brave and share this goddamn video, I might take you into the factory where they built these cars with robotics. So go ahead, click that like button. Yeah, apparently the production line is 90% automated. Oh. It's only 10% of human you know, interaction in the building. Working on these cars yeah. and stuff. It's crazy, isn't it? You know, it just shows you how. I, th I think China are at the point now with their car manufacturing; they can pretty much rival anybody in the world now. Absolutely, you know, they're, mate. They're not behind in, in, in the olden days anymore. I, I have a question, mate. Maybe you know. Do they ship these cars around the world already, or not yet? I don't think they do yet. I think this company has research and development in Europe, in in other parts of the world. They've got a big okay. centre in Italy. They've got an engine development base in the UK. Right. Um, but I think right now they they make enough just to you know yourself, China. Everybody yeah. wants a car. Absolutely. You know, so they're struggling to even meet the demand within the Chinese market at the moment. And there's a big push uh, here in China for EV electric cars, right? Clean energy right. cars, right? And and that's so ironic that China is pushing for cleaner air. And the world keeps on telling how dirty China yeah, really yeah, is. I mean, how weird is that? The, the initiatives that are going on here in China for clean energy are massive, you know. But it takes time. They're a big country. They right. can't do it overnight. But there is so many. Shenzhen, where I live, right? Yeah. All the taxis electric. All the buses are electric. In another few years' time, all the vans and trucks must be electric. And Lee Barrett just told me that Shenzhen is fully fully 5g at this moment absolutely first city in china so i recommend you guys go check out Shenzhen. and hey listen lee last last question yeah, can you no pronounce worries. this car's name changan so it's a changan car guys again i'm here with the barrett we might take you into that factory stay tuned all right we just got out of the pickup i just want to show you guys this this is really slick i was just told that this car right next to me don't have mirrors you know side mirrors I just want to show you how the side mirrors looks like on this car. They've got screens in the car on the dashboard for you not to turn your head. You watch everything on your dashboard. It's like a goddamn airplane you fly. Another safety measure, I guess, but it's pretty cool. That's sleek. I will buy a car just for that. All right, we just got to the uh, factory. These guys sorted me out. They gave me a nice piece of blue overall pant some steel toes obviously this high V reflector shirts i've got the hard cap we need to wear the face masks in this factory but listen right off the bat look at this robot machine behind me we're going to go on this line we're not going to go through the whole process how a car's been built because it's way too long it's going to take way too long time to get everything everything on camera so i'm going to take you guys quickly around this area I'm no engineer, I have no clue how this works, but we're going to get some information as we go. It's just pretty cool to see these robots working, putting these cars together. I can tell you guys, it's super, super clean in this factory. It's insane. These are chassis right behind me, obviously being built. You can see some welding going on. This is seriously cool. Listen, it's the first time that I'm in a car factory and uh, this is 
not what I expected it will look like. This whole factory is robots everywhere. It's arms. There's obviously people operating these robots, but it's insane to see this. They've got a control room right here in the middle of the uh, factory. And this is where they see where everyone is busy working at currently that's on the uh, on the line right here today okay so i just passed a uh, area where they're busy working on new 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 models so i'm not allowed to film there but i can show you guys how the whole process works this is really pretty cool man they are so well organized and i can tell you guys this they take safety really serious in these car factories all right, so I'm with one of the guys that work at this factory and uh, you know, it's so technical what is happening here. You need someone to just guide you through this whole thing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to ask him one or two questions and Shao from Ai Chong Ching. So by the way, go check out their YouTube channel. She will try translate for us what this guy is saying. So my first question is, how many people work in this factory? This one, you know, yeah. like uh, this whole area we are walking through, like this one, it's 600, uh, 460 something. 460 people working on these machines. And then, how long do people work? What is the average working hours for people working here? Uh, uh, 10 to 11 hours every day. 10 to 11 hours every day. So I just finished walk with this guy, asked him some questions. He's busy, he needs to get back to work, but we're going to go upstairs now and see how these robots are working on the cars from the top. So, let me take you there. I would like to have one of these robots to fix my bed in my house in the morning. Just imagine that you can have your whole house fixed with these robot arms and they just do everything for you. It looks so simple but yet so sophisticated. It's really amazing to see what China has done, especially in this company, Chang'an company. Ladies and gentlemen, that again, this is the future. Lee just made a really good point. He said these robots look like transformers and it's really true because they move the whole chassis, the whole body around. It's like flipping pancakes for these robots. Well, well what do you reckon? Absolutely bonkers. This is bonkers. Hey, right? I'm looking at it thinking I've only seen this in sci-fi movies. <laughs> right, right. And I'm looking at it in real life. It's crazy, right? Unreal, unreal. Mate, I need to get myself one of these robots arms to fucking fix <laughs> my, my house in the morning. <laughs> this is Oli from the Barrier Channel. Yes, Let's go yes. hit that link and it will take you to that channel. Happy days. So these cars have literally been put together and the whole process took them an hour to get to this stage, apparently using these robotic arms. And it's currently on this line, moving them to get the doors fit onto these cars it's just so amazing i can count one two three four five six seven seven cars lining up on this line here next to me think about it seven car chassis in 1.5 hours now that is insane i have just been told that in this factory there is a car at the end of the finish line every 50 seconds think about that on a whole day every 50 seconds a finished car will be at the end of the finish line and will be ready to move over to the research center to check it out that ladies and gentlemen i can't stress it too much this is insane now this is how chinese factories operate and i can tell you that is why these people are rising so fast that is why this country is producing so much product 
the technology they use in these factories are off the hook listen later i'm going to take you guys to the 5g exhibition that you're going to go check out some new technology but for now check out these factories because for me this is something that i've never seen in my life if you ever think that chinese workers are being pushed to do hard labor in these factories you are totally wrong because these guys have got the newest equipment clothing gear on their bodies the machines are doing all the work they basically operate the machines these guys are rocking these factories and i think what i'm gonna do is i will go to more factories that we can investigate and see how things are being put together in china and how these chinese people work to get the product done so yeah i do hope this will help you guys out there to understand that people working in these factories are actually well educated well taken care of employees especially big companies i'm just blown away by how clean how organized and how fantastic this whole place is <laughs> so basically i came to the end of the line we're not going to see the whole factory the reason being is it's way 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 too big and uh, these guys need to get back to work and we're going to take you guys into the 5g technology expo believe me you want to see it listen i have Xiao from i Chongqing right next to me fantastic company fantastic people she's an awesome guy Xiao, what do you think about this whole trip at the factory well it's my first time being in this factory actually this uh, whole like the highly automatic like assembly line it's cool pretty cool i just saw this uh uh, how to say mechanic arms, you know, yeah, like yeah, robots. The robot they arm. save a lot of uh, manpower, Absolutely. and uh, we do not see many people around because yeah. they don't need, be, need to be on the strange, spot. right? Yeah, yeah. Strange. yeah, but it's really cool to see the futuristic. I think in future there this kind of uh, automatic assembly will be more and more popular and adopt to many places. Absolutely, so cool. and, and will you agree with me when I say it feels like a movie? Yeah, it exactly. Feels, it feels <laughs> Look like everywhere. a movie. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, listen, I'm going to end the vlog right here. This is the Chang'an factory. I'm with Xiao from iChongqing. If you want to check out the channel, click the link here. It will take you to their channel. Ladies and gentlemen, listen, this is China and this is the future. See you guys in the next video.